Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this animated hamburger icon directly in Figma using variants and some more animate. Check it out. So to start things off, all I have is a blank canvas and I'm going to draw out my hamburger menu. And now before I draw out my hamburger menu, I just want to say that I'm going to exaggerate the size of this menu so that you can see it when I go to the prototype. Obviously the size of your menu is going to differ depending on the needs of your project but just something to keep in mind as I draw out these shapes. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the shapes and I'm gonna select the line. So holding down shift, I'm gonna draw out my top line of my menu and I'll make this 90 pixels. It's a nice even number. And I'll give it a stroke of six pixels so you can see it. So this is gonna be our top line. So now what I'll do is holding down alt I'll drag for the middle copy and I'll give it 18 pixels space between and then we're going to do it one more time for the bottom. So we'll click hold alt. So we have 18 and we can name these real quick to keep everything tidy. So this is the top. This is the middle and this is the bottom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a frame. So I'll highlight all of them, right click, frame selection, and we can just give it a name of hamburger icon. Because I know people are all about naming their layers. And now what we can do is we can go up top and we create a component. So now we have the first variant in our hamburger menu animation. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back up and we're going to create a new variant. And before we continue, we can just expand this out, make it a little bit larger. And I'll bring this one down. Now for this variant two, this is gonna be where the top and the bottom meet in the middle. So what we're gonna do is we're, I'll zoom in. We're gonna take this top line, and we're gonna bring it to the middle. And we're gonna take this bottom line and bring it up to the middle. So now we have our first and second step. We have the hamburger icon, and then we have the step where they meet in the middle. And now I'm gonna jump one step ahead real quick, but you'll understand why. We need to make a duplicate of this middle step. So that way on the reverse, the X icon has something to transform into before it goes back in the hamburger icon. Because the way the animation is set up is that this first straight middle line step is going to turn into the X. So we need another one that's going to reverse it. So holding down Alt, I'll just drag a copy. And now we have two versions of this middle step in the animation. So now what we're going to do is holding down variant two again, I can hold drag and have one more copy. And this is going to be our X icon. So I can twirl down variant four, go to the top, I can make that 45 degrees and I can go to the bottom and make that negative 45 degrees and hide the middle. So here we have all three of the components we need to make the animation. So now we're going to go into the prototype and we're going to start with this top icon and we're going to set it to this one, this middle step. We're going to say on click change to variant two and we're going to make it a smart animate and we'll make it 350 milliseconds close that and then we're going to select the second variant and we're going to have this one turn into the x but instead of being on click it's going to be after delay and the delay is just going to be one so one millisecond and we're gonna smart animate, ease out 350. So the only thing that's different is instead of being a click, it's happening after a delay of one millisecond. We'll close that. And now we'll do the reverse. So we'll take our variant four, which is the X, and we'll have it turn into this. And on click, it will change into variant three, smart animate, ease out 350 milliseconds. 
And now we repeat that middle step. This one will go back into the hamburger icon. But not on click after a delay of one millisecond. And the same thing for smart animate, easy out 350 milliseconds. So now we have our interaction set up. I'm gonna go back into the design tab and I'm gonna draw out a frame. And in the assets, I'll drag my hamburger icon. I'll just put it somewhere in the middle. And now when I present, I can click. And we have our functioning hamburger icon.